Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now I had someone post a comment underneath um, my hands on with a new Daisy update 1.29 video. How do I make these videos where I take new loot um, and showcase it in this kind of manner where I put the loot on tables um, and then walk around and show it to you. So I want to show you how I do this in, uh, in this video for people who are interested. Uh, there's two parts. The first bit is how do you know what the class names are? Of, of this new stuff so that you, you can showcase it all. And the second thing is how do you make the custom JSON file um, for the server so that you can bring it up so you can load it in as a, as a load of custom objects. So let's start off with the idea of how do you get the class names? Well, first thing you have to have is on your computer, you need to have the vanilla files for the previous update. So for example, uh, the date is the 18th of the 8th, 25. So on normal DAISY servers, it's 1.28, and on the experimental servers, it's 1.29. So what you've got to do is go over to Behem Interactive's DAISY Central Economy GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description below this video, and you download the existing vanilla files. And you should always have these on your computer, I think. For example, if you look on my computer here, what you see is I have all kind of my, my daisy mods and you'll see I'll have 128 vanilla, 127 vanilla, 126 vanilla. Um, you can go back as well if you go down here and click on releases that will take you back to other ones. Now in order to get the new mission files what you need to do is own daisy on PC and go to your library and have games and tools selected. And you need to have and what you'll see is if you own daisy you'll own daisy experimental server and you just install it don't launch it just to install it and what that will do is it'll install on your pc remember to find the files you can just go to properties installed files uh, browse and that'll take you to where they are if you scroll down you won't have these uh, add-ons here you can go into the missions and then you'll have the latest missions now a funny thing with 1.29 is that 1.29 for Chernerus has got some loot economy changes that they're trying out that funnily enough won't be coming to public 1.29. So the mission files we've got, although they do have the new items for 1.29, they don't have the loot changes in. That's server side only on official experimental servers. So a little bit, bit of a, an unusual thing they've done with that one. So anyway, so if we go into this file and then we go into the DB directory and then we open up the types in something like notepad plus plus and then we do the same with the vanilla files as well we end up with two files and then what you want as well in fact let me find it so if we go notepad plus plus so you'll want to download notepad plus 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 you'll also want the notepad plus plus compare plugin i put links to all of this in the description below this video so you want to install the compare plugin and then what you can do is you load them both up and you just go plugins compare compare now if you're lucky with the update they won't have changed that many things so in, in this case they haven't they just added these things you just go down and you look for the highlighted stuff and you can actually drag the bar down here and this gives you all the class names of all the things that you're going to want to be spawning in when you make your custom file so that's kind of that's kind of your your working list of the new stuff that's going to be in. Then what you do is you will have installed um, Daisy Experimental, and so you fire up the launcher. And in the description below this video as well is I'll put a link to this video, which is how to import, load, and use Dab's PC Daisy Editor mod with Daisy Experimental and mods in general. So it basically tells you how to make mods work with Daisy Experimental. The only thing that might be slightly different is now to get daisy editor to work you need to have community framework uh, but you also have dabs framework and dabs editor and you manually select those once you've got it set up in the mod section and then you just hit play and then this is going to load up and what i'll do is i, I won't load up my particular showcase but i'll show you kind of how to to start your own um so that if you want to try out with some of these things work things out it's good for especially things like New weapons where you can try them with different scopes and become familiar with them. Um, normally as well, it can be good for say trader builds and things like that. If you can you can add them in, getting ready for when um, 
the, the files go public. So if we go to like Chernerus here, so let's load up Chernerus in the editor mod. And you must also be familiar, I'm not going to go into how you create, uh, well, I'm going to go into how you create a custom object spawner JSON, but I'm not going to go into to how you um, get it to work with your server. So, for example, I like doing stuff up here at uh, Krasnus, the northeast airfield. So if we come here, well, I like coming here because it's nice and flat. There we go. So let's go up this end. Uh, let's go up this end. Also, there's not many zombies around as well. There's some over here. And then all I do is spawn some tents in the things. And what you're looking for, you're looking for the. Uh, if you type in roadblock, you'll get the roadblock table. There we go. That's the one I use. And you can just drop them in like this. And that's kind of the basis of your uh, of your build. So then what we need to do is, right, let's spawn in some of the new stuff. So what have we got? Cold Operation Boots Camo. So if we look for Cold Operation Boots, we should be able to find them. Um, sometimes you have to go to Static as well. So if we do Cold Oper... No, I'll go to Configs. There we go, Cold Operation Boots Camo. And literally we can just drop them like that onto the table and they'll be there. If you want to check things, just left click somewhere on the screen, press T, and then press home, and that brings you up. You could, in fact, record the video like this, to be honest. You could um, avoid having to export the JSON and just create your showcase video kind of like this, and you can look at stuff and say, oh, look, these are the new boots, that sort of thing. Just press home to come out of that. And then when you're ready, when you're finished, ready to go, you can go file. Obviously, you'd be saving it, but you would export, and you'd export it as an object spawner dot json and that's the thing you would then put in the custom folder on your server so that you can load it up put the uh, reference into your cfg gameplay dot json and that is how let me just spawn move it a little bit close and that's how i do it nice and easy um what i can do is i keep a dot dze file with all these things in them so every time a new update comes in i just drop a few more tables in and i can just update the file re-export it load it into my local pc server and then I can have a look at it. So hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully this gives you an idea on how to create these little showcase videos. And if it has been useful, hit like, um, press subscribe too. And obviously tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon.